Recently, the New Zealand Lotto Powerball has jackpotted to over $20 million. Now, can you see yourself winning $20 million? What would you do with that money? Would you buy a new house? Get a fancy new car? Or go on a vacation around the world? Have you ever wondered about the odds of winning? Or is it actually possible to win? In this video, I'll be looking at the probability of winning Lotto in New Zealand the most common winning numbers, the biggest lotto prize payouts, the luckiest lotto shops around the country, and some of the winners that have managed to lose it all. The New Zealand lotto actually has quite a few different games including uh, lotto, lotto powerball, lotto strike, kino, bullseye, etc etc. I'll be focusing on the one with the biggest payout out of all of them, which is the Lotto Powerball. If you have never played Lotto before, in order to win the first division of Lotto Powerball, you have to match six numbers from a pool of 1 to 40 numbers, and the order of the number that itself doesn't actually matter. However, you also need to match the Powerball number in order to win the big prize. Let's look at some of the uh, largest wins in New Zealand in history. So the largest win in New Zealand is a gigantic 44 million New Zealand dollars win and it was purchased from a shop in Dairy Flats in Auckland and here's a chart of some of the biggest lotto wins in lotto history. Different to many other countries in New Zealand, you don't actually get taxed on your lotto winnings, but you do get taxed on any interest that you earn from those winnings. On the other hand, if you ever wondered which stores produce the highest number of winners, here's a chart of some of the stores that produce the most number of winners. Do note that these stores are some of the busiest lotto shops so that they most likely have sold many winning tickets just from the sheer number of tickets being sold. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're going to look at the probability of actually winning Lotto. The probability of winning Lotto can be calculated using this formula, where n is the total pool of numbers, and k is the total numbers that you will need to match. In New Zealand Lotto, the pool has 40 numbers from 1 to 40, and you will need to match 6 numbers. So in this situation, n is 40 and k is 6. Now without going into all the details, by just plugging in the numbers into the equation, it'll show you that you have 1 in 3.8 million chance of getting all six numbers. However, you would also have to match the uh, Powerball number, uh, which ranges from 1 to 10. So you have a 1 in 10 chance of getting the Powerball number. So your actual chance of winning Lotto Powerball is actually 1 in 38 million for one line of numbers. This is made a little bit easier since most people purchase 10 lines of numbers in one ticket. Now, if you don't think that the probability of winning is that low, an article stating things that you are more likely to do than winning a lot of Powerball, which includes getting hit by lightning twice, be related to the queen, giving birth to identical quadruplets, drowning in a bathtub, flipping heads on a coin toss 25 times in a row. Here's a fun fact I discovered while playing around with the formula. So in New Zealand, you pick 6 out of 40 numbers and 1 out of 10 Powerball numbers. Now let's assume that there are no more Powerball numbers, but you get a bigger pool of numbers to choose from for Powerball. How big would the pool of numbers need to be for the odds of winning to be similar to the one with the Powerball? And the answer is not simply 40 plus 10, which is 50. In fact, the number is 57. 
So the odds of picking six numbers from a pool of 57 numbers is 1 in 36 million, which is slightly better than the odds of winning a lot of Powerball, which is 1 in 38 million. Do you think that picking six numbers from a pool of 57 is easier than the current Powerball uh, system? Let me know what you think. Let's now look at some of the most popular winning numbers. So currently the most common winning numbers are 1, 7, 19, 22, 18, and 13. And the least common winning number is 28. The most common winning Powerball number by far is number 2, with 9 and 10 being the least common by far. Although this is mainly due to the fact that there were originally only 8 numbers in the Powerball and 9 and 10 were added many years later. Now don't take this as a reason to pick those numbers when buying your next lotto ticket because the probability of the numbers showing up does not increase just because certain numbers happen to appear more often. Picking out a uh, winning number is also a bit of an art as well since if there are too many people with the same winning number the top prize simply gets divided by amongst or the winners. This has actually happened in 2018 where a, the winning number for a draw was 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. There were a massive 40 winners for that particular draw, which meant that each winner received $25,000 for the first division $1 million prize. Funny enough, this meant that the five people who split the second division prize and got $27,000 each actually got more than the people that have won the first division prize. Of course, we all like to believe in a happy ending where you win lotto, buy a house, pay off your debt, and live happily ever after. The reality is that many lotto winners end up going bankrupt due to overspending. Many people simply cannot regulate their expenditure and that leads to a lavish lifestyle which ends up alienating many friends and family. You should really plan accordingly if you win to make sure that does not happen to you. So would you invest and where would you invest if you ever won lotto? Let me know your thoughts on that and I'll see you in the next video.